A judge has made a decision on whether people at a Burlington encampment have a legal right to stay. NBC5's Brianna Borgi has been following this story. She joins us now from Sears Lane in Burlington with an update tonight. Brianna. It all started in October. A series of dangerous incidents here at the Sears Lane encampment pushed the city to issue a notice of removal, forcing all residents to vacate. That deadline was Thursday, but residents weren't leaving here until their voices were heard. Last week, Sears Lane residents taking their fight to court, hoping to stop the city from removing them from the encampment. I've determined that their, that their best shelter option is and only is, is that Sears Lane. The judge didn't make a ruling right away, but on Tuesday, deciding the city can move forward with clearing out the site. Gray Bereda tells NBC5 they will look into appealing the case, saying Sears Lane is home. He and other campers are now living in hotel rooms through the Champlain Valley Office of Economic Opportunity. The organization says a lack of affordable housing has led to homelessness across the state, saying in a statement, this is why CVOEO opposes the forced removal of any encampment where individuals and families experiencing homelessness live. State leaders addressing the housing crisis during the governor's weekly press conference, all while protesters near their third week sleeping on the state house steps, asking Governor Scott to reopen the hotel motel program to everyone. The solution is permanent housing. A uh, hotel motel program uh, had its challenges in a number of different ways. Uh, they weren't getting the services uh, they needed. Uh, they were more isolated. Right now, 1,500 Vermonters are living in hotel and motel rooms at taxpayers' expense. Another 500 are staying in homeless shelters around Vermont, which are full. We are trying to expand the shelter capacity, and right now we're looking at uh, uh, facilities where we can expand that shelter capacity as we move forward. Up to 1,000 others left the hotel motel program last July when rules tightened. Some are living outdoors and temperatures are dropping. We will be um, implementing soon the adverse uh, weather conditions. What that does is um, open up the program to more individuals during that time period. Secretary Mike Smith says that program will ensure that homeless individuals have access to shelter over the winter months. He says that program will likely start towards the end of this month and will go into March or April, depending on the weather. Live in Burlington, Brianna Borgie, NBC5 News.